what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back 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 <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in once again i'm real mellow today my eyes are red because i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired but i'm here to do these reactions man trying to get all these reactions done um for you guys you know you guys are not even present right now I'm, I'm recording this while i'm trying to make sure i pay attention just in case my girl needs help if she needs help i have my phone right here she can text me and all that good stuff right um um so if you see me while i'm reacting and stuff like that if you see me always like kind of like checking my phone or you see me look away for it two seconds and look at my phone make sure that it i'm just making sure that it's not a text from my girl because if she needs help i have to pause and go take care of whatever she needs to or whatever the situation is because she's basically helpless right now but she's home um so i appreciate you guys so we are in the middle of the match well not really the middle match just started the hoba josai Karasuna seems to be in control. Game is still close, but it's a great way to end season two. As I've said before, I wouldn't have mind to see these two go at it again. You know, as I said before in the last one, if you if you um if you watch enough stories, if you watch enough TV shows, anime and all this stuff, there's only so many stories that you can write. You get what I'm saying? It's only it, it's that's why when certain things hit, it's so unique. Because it's such a, it's, it's different, it's refreshing, right? So, I expect inspiration, but the story is pretty straightforward. When it comes on to stories like these, um, you're not really expecting certain, like, I don't expect the author to write Haikyuu with Karasuno being the main character, right? Because it's not necessarily that it's, Hinata or Kageyama being the main character is Karasuno the school that is the main character in the show. So I wouldn't see them. I wouldn't see um, the author writing Karasuno losing twice to this very team. It's the reason why he set up this rematch, and I expect Karasuno to win. Now I'm not saying that Karasuno, it, you, you know, he can't write it would be very surprising i just don't expect it okay so it would be very surprising if they lost to this team again and when you put all the variables variables together right when you put all the variables together and and when you put out as when you put all the variables together <laughs> i always like the way how my mind works it's like sometimes i don't get what i I don't finish my thought before I move on to the next one. And you guys, if you go back and look at plenty of my videos, you'll notice that sometimes when I'm explaining my point, I might leave it halfway and go to the next one because I'm always thinking ahead. It's how I've trained myself to think. So it's like, it's it's weird sometimes because sometimes I don't finish my thought about what I'm explaining right here before I move on to the next one. That's why sometimes you'll see me break my sentences in the middle and then... I move on to my next thought because I'm always thinking about the next thing. It it doesn't always beneficial, but sometimes I do catch myself do it. So when you take in all the variables of things that are happening around the anime itself, which is the manga is just finished. And um, I know that we're like halfway, like halfway through the story and it's season four and you guys said they're pretty close to the end, right? So when you put all of that stuff together, I don't see him making. And I know, I know you're gonna say, "Oh, this is going to spoil your experience," but no, it doesn't. It really doesn't because there's still surprises and stuff like that that could happen. It doesn't spoil my experience of enjoying it. Um, as I said, I've used the example of Ippo. I predicted a lot of things to happen in Ippo, and it still surprised me. It still was a great anime. It still made me cry. It still it's still in my top three animes of all time. So just understand that, right? So 
doesn't spoil my experience but we're gonna jump into these reactions um, I'm gonna try to finish it up the last time I was supposed to finish up but I called I got called away I had to go pick up some din din from the mom you know what I'm saying and then when I came back I only had time to do a couple more episodes so I was trying to finish it that time but today for, for sure for sure I will be able to finish it but in any case let's jump into it and I will see you guys for the review all right so that was the end final five episodes of season two of haikyuu and i am thoroughly impressed to say the least it was a 10 out of 10 season for me i can say that off bat because nothing was missing it was a straight up story that i could follow that i can root for that i you know there was there was some okie dokes you know what i'm saying but for the most part um for the most part i enjoyed the season and the reason why i'm there's no blemishes on the season for me and the reason why i'm giving it a 10 out of 10 season is basically because um they 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 told a comprehensive story throughout the season, which is like, it's the road back. It's the, it's the road back. You know what I'm saying? Um, to where the disappointment that we had at the end of season one, it's a road back to avenge that loss. And I really do appreciate what they did. We had some really intense matches, um, getting back to Oba Josai, but for the most part, I think I enjoyed the i enjoyed the entire seasons reason reason being the first part of the season where they concentrated on them getting these practice matches against these top schools in tokyo um you know and learning all this new stuff them improving which i was saying in season one that they're gonna have to figure out a way for hinata to be able to hit to do that super quick with his eyes open and they did that at the beginning of the season um, everybody improved. Asahi learned how to jump serve. Um, um, the Gucci, Gucci man, you know what I'm saying? Gucci came through with the jump floats. Finally, um, finally learning how to do it. Had a great moment in that um, final match there against Aoba Josai or Seijo. Um, I like saying Aoba Josai. Um, but man, it it was just awesome to see how much everybody has improved. Tanaka has improved. Noya has improved. Everybody on the team. Sukishima, I think I would give him um most improved player of the year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want to say of the year, but whatever. I would give him the award of most improved player. Um definitely. And the reason why I would give him most improved player is because he's had so many clutch moments and this whole time he's been practicing and doing his thing and putting in the time, a guy that has been playing and never really showing interest, you know what I'm saying? Like not really outwardly showing interest um, in improving and he went out and he did it, you know what I'm saying? From, you know being challenged by Hinata, Hinata asking him, do you think you can block um, Hushijima, right? And he went out and he practiced and now, you know, he's, as I said, he's one of the best spikers on the team and he doesn't get credit for it. He doesn't really get credit because he's mainly known for his defense, his blocking, but he really doesn't get credit for what he does when he's above the net on an attacking attacking point of view it's kind of like you know what i'm saying you'll have some of the greatest defenders in in soccer that can score goals that are really good um if i could give i uh, can't remember any right now uh i can't, <laughs> i can't remember any names right now it's been so long since i've kept up with soccer i mean i could give you some name that you probably don't know who the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's some great defenders in soccer that could 
could attack and score goals also. Um, so I think that's one of the things that Tsukishima really improved um, on other than his blocking was his attack above the net. You know what I'm saying? As in his spiking, knowing what to do when you're up there, reading the situation and knowing what to do. If you notice every time that he's been up there, he's gotten points. I've never seen them show Tsukishima getting blocked from above the net. Anytime Kageyama chooses him, he gets the job done. You get what I'm saying? He gets the job done. Whether it's a feint, whether it's a, a straight up spike, whether it's a dump, he's that guy. Whether it's a fight above the net with both hands, you know what I'm saying? As in fighting for the ball, he wins. Um, so... I think I have to give him a shout out on it. As I said, I would give him most improved. Everybody improved, but I think he's the one that showed the most improvement out of everybody. Um, everybody improved. Don't get me wrong. And that's one of the aspects that I love about this show is to show the um, the elevation, the, the, the improvement, you know, the overall improvement of the team. And also, man, let me take this time out to really give a sh give a shout out to Aoba Josai. They are a team indeed, and Oikawa is a beast. Mad Dog, props to him, but he needs to learn to control his emotion. You can't play any sport. Sometimes there is you have to have controlled anger when it comes on to sport. Nobody's stopping you from being angry, but if you're angry and you're costing your team, you're not, you know what I'm saying, as they describe him as a double-edged sword, and I think a lot of those points that they lost, you get what I'm saying? They could have won that second set without a fight if he wasn't getting points and losing it in the next turn because, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, um, but shout out to him, man. He's going to be a beast you know, in the, in the upcoming year, for sure, for sure, you know what I'm saying, because he kind of understood certain things at the end of the match, and kind of bringing him into a little bit of control, um, that, you know, that move, that thing that he has, that a lot of people don't do, but, you know, um, it is something that you can do in volleyball, not a lot of people do it, because, you're ex as I said, you have to be fast because you're cutting in from running directly in, you know, what I'm saying parallel to the net and then jump in to get that cut when you, you really doesn't have to do that to get a cut to do a cut shot when it comes on to spiking. You don't have to do that, but you can it can be it's better. You get what I'm saying? But it's hard to do. It's a better shot. You got a better angle. You uh, you see the ball better and to do the cut shot when you do that. But it also, like, if somebody does that, they have to be really fast. It is something that people do in volleyball. But it has, as I said, you don't see it very often. A lot of this stuff that you see them implement in the anime, you don't see it very often in volleyball. It is described in books and stuff but you don't see it or people just come up with this stuff and you're just like okay that's what he's doing um you know most of the time to cut off a cut shot like that unless it lands like directly in front of the net and stuff like that most of the time a cut shot like that usually ends up in the back row so a lot of times all the person has to do that's defending back there is to step up just a just a little bit so that they can kind of save that ball. So um, I didn't see them do that. You know what I mean? Um, as I said, but they went for, they, they, they basically went for the way that is the hardest. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, it's the hardest way <laughs> to actually do a cut shot. They went for it. And to see him do it, like, he only did it twice during the match. So, and he, he, he didn't do it. The second time he tried to do it, he didn't do it. Because it's not an easy thing to do, to do a cut shot. The set has to be perfect. So, just my opinion on that. Just talking about, oh, but Josai Okawa, he's just a beast. He's a very good volleyball player. He's a complete player, if you want to call it that. And I'm glad that he warned Hushijima to not sleep on Kageyama. Because, dude, 
that dude was learning under me, and I know he knows that Kageyama is going to surpass him. You know, he's still Kageyama is still not a complete player, complete player like him, and he just beat him. And he's telling Ushijima, "You need to watch out. Kageyama is coming." And I'm looking forward to season three because I know season three is going to be. Um, that's how they're going to kick off season three with. Um, Shirato Izawa versus Karasuno. So I'm looking forward to that match, of course. But other than that, man, great season. As I said, 10 out of 10. They did an awesome job of not leaving um, not leaving any open spaces, even though they still did 25 episodes. They didn't leave anything open for you to not be interested in. Like, there was not any episode that went by that wasn't interesting, that wasn't fun, that wasn't, you know what I'm saying some way inspirational and stuff like that um it was just a great 25 episodes of a show right so i'm looking forward to season three of course i know you guys are too you guys are awesome stay up guys i'm jumping into season three as soon as possible as i said i'm pre-recording all of this stuff for y'all so just know that by the time you're seeing this episode by the time you finish seeing this episode i should be done i should be done it's a it's basically a promise it but it should be i should be done caught up with a high i'm pretty sure i should be by the time you're seeing this episode um by the time you watch this so i should be done right i'm not done right now but by the time you see this i should be done <laughs> okay so just you guys stay awesome out there. I appreciate y'all. Leave a like, leave a comment. See boy terabyte reacts. Peace.